my, 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 as the turntables. Uh, this is an entirely different mood than the, <laughs> the last war table I did. Uh, things have changed quite a bit uh, for Marvel's Avengers since before its release to where we are now. Uh, this game just was not ready to be released. And yet, I still paid $70 for it and put in 60 hours afterwards to truly say at least I completed the game and all the, you know, kind of unique content it had to offer. And, uh, yeah, it was a big financial regret, not gonna lie to you. This is my anthem, I gotta, I gotta live with that, etched into my brain for the rest of my life. Uh, but... They are attempting to bring this game back from the depths. Um... After losing 84 million dollars, and, uh, towards, uh, what is it, their, uh, quarterly stock or goals or something like that, that are quarterly sales profits to... Losing 96% of the player base. I deleted this game off of my PlayStation 4 a month ago. So. I don't know how they're going to bring it back. I don't know how they're going to bring it back. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. But this is just the reality of the game. The game was delayed. And still wasn't finished. And I know there's been a lot of posts on their subreddit about all their excuses of... Uh, you know, before the fires in California and then also COVID and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, if all this was this big of a disastrous issue, they should have delayed the game until 2021 and not let greed get in the way because it's a terrible condition. All right. But Kate Bishop, a character I have no interest in. <laughs> Uh, is coming. So, uh, I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. I am 99.9% .9 sure no matter what I see, it is not going to bring me back to playing this game anytime soon. But hopefully, these will be the right steps into getting the game back on track. Hopefully. I still think we got a long ways to go, though. Here we go. Welcome to a special Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive, a new format that focuses on one topic, and today that's our first new hero of season one, Kate Bishop. Since launch in September, millions of you have started on this journey with us. Kamala surprised many of you with her disarming sincerity, going from- I will admit, Kamala's Avenger. awesome. Kamala is great. The initial story of Kamala reassembling the Avengers fantastic. is the foundation for all our content to come, which continues our world story with new heroes and story experiences at no additional cost. Season one kicks off with Kate Bishop, Operation Taking Aim, which will be available December 8th. Kate's operation is the first new chapter in season okay. one of the Avengers Initiative. After coming back together December and standing 8th. up to aim, the first battle was won, but the war is far from over. The new leader of aim has far reaching plans, and that story <clears throat> continues with Kate Bishop in Operation Taking Aim. Better come back, all right? I'll try, but if I don't. Nope, not having that conversation. You know, we thought you were dead. Nobody heard from you. It's a bridge through time. Nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. I'm not giving up on my friend. Katie? We're talking about time collapsing in on itself to eventually tear reality apart. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy, so let's just turn this thing on before I overthink it. Did, did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong timeline, cut Monica off from her future self. Simple. I like it. That's still messing with time.
I like that she'll be using a katana along with it. That's nice. But it still makes me wonder, is Hawkeye just going to be a reskin? Heroes, villains, biomes, with and barely more. different uh, we animations. We planned from the beginning to build an interconnected narrative that unfolds and evolves as we release new content. Operations feature beats of new story that work together to form an arc, like a run of comics or episodes in a season of a show. Kate's operation comes with her own story and unique rewards that you can only get in taking aim. In Taking Aim, Kate is searching for her mentor, Hawkeye. But along the way, she discovers a conspiracy involving Commander Nick Fury, time travel, and a frightening new enemy, the Super Adaptoid. Hmm. Super Adaptoid was originally introduced in Tales of Suspense number 84. It has a cosmic origin and is programmed to defeat Captain America by copying the abilities of the Avengers. In Marvel's Avengers, it has all of the Avengers' powers and is considered an Omega-level threat in the tougher, multiplayer-only version of the Super Adaptoid boss fight. Our Kate Bishop is voiced by Ashley Birch, best known for her roles as Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2 and 3, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, and Chloe Price in Life is Strange. We are so yeah. excited to welcome Ashley. That's a good choice in voice actress. What took you so long? Fighting robots? Ha, <laughs> me too. Why is your voice sync still off in the trailer? Flint, so that's reflected in her kit. But she has her own heroics and finishers and intrinsics. Kate Bishop is a world-class archer and an adept swordswoman. With repurposed aim tech, she uses quantum energy to power a unique set of special abilities. Her intrinsic attacks teleport to the enemy and deal increased sword damage. So she's Virgil! While her blink skills let her double jump, air dash, and traverse ledges via short range teleportation. That's actually really cool. Kate can parry enemies with quantum shift, teleporting away from the attack and striking from behind. As a master archer, Kate has a wide variety of bow skills, each with upgrades that can be unlocked. For starters, when in her doubt, laser make him Virgil. In a rapid three shot range combo, or can be fired with perfect timing for bonus damage. You can fire multiple arrows at the same time with scattershot arrows, which is handy for crowd control or for doling out damage to enemies close up. Explosive arrows are great for staggering enemies and breaking through their defenses. Okay. And don't forget, smoke screen arrows do high stun damage to anything inside the cloud of smoke. Kate's heroics are unique to her and fit her personality to a T. Decoy is Kate's support heroic and it is one of our favorites. It spawns a hologram replica of her that shoots arrows of quantum energy at targets to distract them. Okay. After image lets you swap places with a decoy. And There's a lot more effort put the into this character design than a lot of a other ones. Burst of quantum damage. Her warp arrow assault heroic allows her to teleport over long distances while triggering a large quantum explosion that lifts enemies into the air on her arrival. Wormhole is an upgrade option for warp arrow that creates portals allies can use to quickly teleport across the battlefield to join Kate. The ultimate heroic quantum overdrive provides unlimited intrinsic energy, empowering her bow so she can fire quantum energy arrows with explosive results. Kate also has a host of quick and agile sword strikes to deal with enemies that foolishly venture within striking distance. As you can see, Kate has a plentiful arsenal at her disposal to wreck shop on aim, and then some. Every new hero comes with a ton of cosmetics, including emotes, costumes, takedowns, and nameplates. Many of these can be earned through gameplay, but players can also purchase certain cosmetics for their favorite heroes. Once you complete Kate's story, you can jump into a late game version of Kate's final mission to test your skills and earn even better rewards. Remember kids, you can still spend real money. Before we go, here's a quick look at what's coming after Kate. Hawkeye, Operation Future Imperfect. Clint's story picks up after the conclusion of Kate's operation and brings us face to face with a distant future where all hope is lost. Did they just make Clint him look like Dante? Hawkeye, <laughs> I swear they make him like Devil May Cry. I swear. We'll I'm not making this up. Including in depth first looks at his gameplay in the very near future. Welcome to the end of the world. Stay 
Season one of the Avengers Initiative will bring big changes, and that all starts with story. That includes Next Gen. Marvel's Avengers is coming to Next Gen consoles early 2021, and all current owners will receive a free upgrade on both platforms. Until then, mm. your current mm. game can be played on the new consoles, including cross-gen play, and you'll notice improved performance already with the new hardware. Our journey began with Kamala's single-player story and will grow with both Kate and Clint's operations. And we have more improvements and features yet to come. We're always listening to our players, including asks for future features like cross-platform play. We hear you loud and clear. As always, thank you for always telling us what you think. Make sure you visit playavengers.com for our weekly blog where you can find everything from patch notes to tips and fun content that you created. Until then, we'll see you online and in the game. Yeah. Well, I will say this. They did a really good job with Kate Bishop's design. So thank you. That's fine. They did a really good job with her design. Uh, so yeah, Kate Bishop. Yeah, she looks fun in design. Obviously, she has to be as a DLC character because... Or a new character because you want people to come back and play the game, so you get the you know the most brand spankingest, coolest looking character that you possibly can, and you put him out there for the time being. I just um, all this stuff looks nice, like all this stuff does in the trailers. Uh, however, the actual functionality of the game, the bugs and all that sort of stuff, those are the main issues that kill the experience for a lot of people. I mean, this game, most people still can't even finish the campaign properly to this day on PC because the game either crashes or corrupts their save data and they have to start over from the beginning. So uh, amongst, amongst the other myriad of bugs that plague this entire game on every single platform, uh, it's, 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 it's nice to have new content, quote unquote, but I am more than likely sure that a lot of this is just going to be reskinned content from before. Just, but, oh, but it's a time portal. Well, what does that mean? Well, you beat up robots in this location instead. <laughs> but you sit in this room and you fight a bunch of robots in this location and move on. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll put out some bigger patch notes talking about all the things they're going to be fixing, you know, actually making the end game content multiplayer actually making not having the end game content multiplayer in your multiplayer game uh maybe they will address all of this stuff the main issues that people actually have with this game and actually fix up this content on this big launch maybe maybe not i don't know the problem is not the base combat the problem is not most of the character designs or the story those are all things i enjoyed you don't get 60 hours into a game like I have and not and just completely hate the whole entire experience there's a lot of elements I really really enjoy about this game it's just my faith in them and these developers to do what has to be done to resurrect this game is very very low cool characters are nice but a functioning game, a functioning matchmaking, a game without glitches that are where you're falling through the floor constantly, which is something I dealt with, or you're getting to the end of a mission and your rewards are glitched, or you get into uh, the final levels of this big old, you know, in game boss thing that you're running, uh, that you've been running for an hour, and then all of a sudden the final door won't open, and then you have to restart the whole thing. So many different playtesting things like that are just what killed the experience for people along with the mediocre content that was just reskinned and repackaged with different names on it their whole entire new release of whatever those pulsar quasar i don't know quantum rooms were that they had recently those were just reskins of other content so sure kate does look nice story i'm interested in seeing where that goes but I mean, at this point, I'd rather just watch a YouTube video of where the story is going and watch the cutscenes. I don't know. I don't know. They're going to need a massive overhaul. A massive overhaul for this game to reach any sort of standard in which I'd want to play it again and subject myself to this game again. I don't know.
We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Well, let me know what you think about this in the comment sections down below, guys. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but if you have played this game, then you know why optimism is not your best course of action with this game. Uh, but let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below, guys. And also, way down there, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to become a part of the Geek Speak Nation channel. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Join our Discord. It's in the description down below. And don't forget 